Hi there, welcome to the data science tutorial and in this video I will going to talk about the how you can integrate Shiny PDF or the PDF app into the Shiny application like this. So basically the idea is that in any of the application or the Shiny application you want to show some sort of a help document related to the app or maybe additional one uh, which is uh, relating with the application that you have and uh, how you can show it as a part of one tab, tab and then uh, allowing user to go through that document and even um, as the functionality provided by the PDF readers it will allow the download or the print so that's uh, what I will going to quickly talk about and before I move ahead just a quick information that uh, if you are interested in viewing uh, technology uh, tutorial like click view you can go into the data and tools which is my other channel where I share click view related uh, tutorials and uh, you can subscribe to this channel to get the videos directly in your inbox all right let's move ahead and here is the code so what it is is nothing but just this one line of the code what it is doing is uh, it is creating one tab uh, with the name PDF and text dollar iframe is basically um, having one parameter as source source is nothing but uh, a local directory in which you have the click dot PDF and that local this local directory is a special one because uh, that's a directory with the name www so here I have the click file stored so you need to make sure that uh, you have the directory with this name www and within that only you need to store this uh, PDF application or the PDF document so this is a globe this is a directory where all of such related images or PDF document which you want to show into your application should be stored otherwise uh, click otherwise uh, shiny will not be able to identify it and uh, apart from source uh, you can specify the width and size uh, height of the uh, PDF uh, PDF tab so here in this case uh, what we have specified is uh, height as 100 px width as 100 percent scrolling we have said yes along with the additional features like download and print which pdf reader provides and that's pretty much all you have to do nothing into the server just a simple code which says render ui and you are done and what you get is is a simple pdf app that is present over here so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic